Now, the fat. The drippings. Yes. yes. Do not do not throw it away. Right. So we're going to set this aside to roast okay. on a carving board that has a trough okay. to catch the, the drips is a really a nice thing yes, a little, to do. Um, a little moat around Exactly. It. And if you don't have a moat, I sometimes put the cutting board in a sheet pan. Oh, that's a good and idea. And it can catch the drippings that way. So, right. um, and as that roasts, well, well, we've got all these great drippings. And so what I'm going to do is pour them into um, a measuring cup here and then... We're going to save these and use them to make. Oh, I'll oh, be the rubber oh, There you go. Thank okay. you. Thank you. And we're going to save these to make uh, a Yorkshire pudding oh, good. directly in in this okay. this pan. One and a third cups of sifted flour. So I'm going to sift it right onto a piece of paper. Great. Thank you. And I'm going to whisk together three eggs with a half teaspoon of salt. The salt's going to help the eggs break down a little bit. And then let me whisk in the milk before we add the flour. So this, this is like the simplest thing on earth. It's the simplest thing yeah. on earth. I mean, it's just, it's a very loose batter. Right. Eggs, whole milk, I prefer. It's I mean, almost like a custard. Exactly. It's like a popover. It's a big yeah. popover. And they sell pans, special pans to make Yorkshire pudding they do? in. Yeah, what do but, they look like? Well, it's a cast iron pan. Oh, I, I know. Like a, okay. Yeah, but why but would you do that? Because it's all about use the a roasting pan. Yeah, so two to That's five it. hours ahead of time. And let it sit, right? And let it sit. And what happens, when it, we're going to put it in the refrigerator. And what happens as it sits in the refrigerator, cover it up, and the flour is going to absorb. And um, this chilling it and letting it sit helps it give that puff because we want the big Now do you pour dramatic. it right into the pan in the oven? The pan has been heating in the oven with how much of the drippings? About a, qu a quarter cup of the drippings. Oh, that's all? That's oh, okay. it, yep. So, oh, so you're not really ingesting a whole lot of fat. No, no, no. And don't it's just, leave. Don't leave three quarters of a cup or a, a cup. Then it really swims in it. Yeah. yeah. So this okay. is just enough to give it all that savor, and it's a mix of drippings. In Yorkshire, and, they use all of the drippings. I know. I know. <laughs> and then they also then serve it before the roast. The idea that traditionally oh. you serve it. That's the myth. You serve it before the roast, oh. and that way people will eat less of the expensive beef because oh, they've I had see. a little bread and egg oh, I pudding see. first. Okay. So then. Heat them in the 450 oven, and actually we're using convection today because we found that it gets an even bigger puff, and so it's 425 convection. So we'll pour it in. And we're going to go over here and pour it in. So good. Um, oh wow, thank you. So okay, so here. Don't, I have it. It's fine. I got it. It's a heavy. It's a, you can just pour. I'm just going to pour it, and I don't even worry if it about tilting it. I just want to get it in there and then get it back in the oven. Okay. That's great. So it's really hot, and we have one already done because it's like magic. Oh my gosh! Oh, there. oh wow, that's beautiful. Doesn't that look good? 